a bit of a different video for you all today. We are on Bourbon Street here in New Orleans and it's time to go drinking. We're going to show you all the bars, the specialty drinks, a couple days of boozing here in the French Quarter. Let's go check it out. Let's kick things off at Lafitte's Blacksmith Shop and Bar, one of the oldest bars in the whole country, built sometime in the 1700s. So we're inside the old and dark bar, it's place got us in flashlight mode, and the drink here to get is the purple drink, the voodoo daiquiri, about nine bucks, big old thing filled with grain, alcohol, and grape juice. You can't taste any booze, so it's, it's very, very dangerous. It just really just tastes like grape Kool-Aid, and uh, it'd be an interesting way to start. So I love this super old-timey door at the Black Book Shop. Up next, the Funky Pirate. So this one, I got the uh, a big old Dixie beer, a local, uh, local draft beer. Molly out here for the frozen hand grenade. It's one of the uh, in the tropical island family bars, and uh, we're hanging out outside. Cause inside they've got a band playing, but it's super loud. So we're uh, hanging out out here in the courtyard. So if you are a really, I mean a really, really big fan of the hand grenade drink, you get a hand grenade gone for dollar fifty. The funky pirates also home to this creepy puking fountain. Next up is uh, Spirits on Bourbon. Drinking one of the specialty beverages here are the Barber Beer. It's kind of cool. You got a ceiling piano kind of thing. This bar is famous because it was on bar and restaurants and TV shows. And uh, I love this. This is one of my favorite drinks on the street. Not super strong, but delicious. So first off, Pat O'Brien's is a massive place. From a courtyard to different uh, different bars, there's a piano bar. Uh, the, the fire's not turned off, but normally this is the biggest famous fire fountain. And the drink, of course, is the famous Hurricane. Nine bucks, a giant glass of booze. It's very tasty. It goes down easy, uh, but it'll hit you hard. Cat Meow is up next. Cocktail. We've got pineapple juice, uh, three or four ounces of booze in there, and uh, the bar's got a. Uh, it's interesting. There's a mechanical pool. There's a indoors, outdoors. It's a. Um, it's a place. Oh, 
need you, but you need me. Here at Razoo, they do have a fire fountain, but uh, three for one drink, so uh, three Bud Lights, six fifty. Not a bad deal. So one thing I love about New Orleans is their liquor laws. You can just wander around with your booze. No glass, just pass a cup, cans, that'll work. So we're on the way to French Quarter to drink some more and drink a beer on the way. The glass stuff isn't even really enforced either. Time to venture off of Bourbon Street a little bit as we love Tiki Bar, so we're gonna stop at Latitude 29. A couple of our cocktails here at the uh, bar. We came during happy hour, so me and Molly's got them for eight bucks. I got the, I got a first of many, and then Molly's got the softer side of Beastly. Got this cool giant uh, square ice cube, and then Clay got the Navy Grog here. And that guy right there in the middle, that's a giant stick of ice. And sugar. And sugar. It's um, some cool drinks here. Now, something I also wanted to show you this as a big Disney guy is that they have uh, a couple of these guys from the Enchanted Tiki Room hanging out up top. So it's a Disney fan, it's got a neat nod to you guys. Still off of bourbon, when I was at Keenan Table, got a Mariner's Sizzle, which is this ridiculous looking drink served in a pineapple for two. 23 bucks, but it, this is quite the thing. So I really don't know what's going on here. We're on our way back to Bourbon Street and there's this bar with like no people in it. And there's a skeleton playing a piano. That's uh, that's New Orleans. Check out the spaceship car. Spaceship car is great. 